get out of Colditz multiplayer rules. The object of the multiplayer game is to be the first to piece together one or more escape chains to allow a single escaper a home run to freedom. You also play action cards against your opponents, stopping their own escape attempts. The escape chains are achieved by forming a column of four sequential cards in front of you, numbered from one to four. Upon laying your home run card, you win the game against your opponents. Hints to help you on the multiplayer game are shown on each card. To win, a winning escape chain is made from building two sequential escape cards of the same name, numbered 1, then 2, then an escaper, 3, and then your home run card, 4. For instance, rope 1, rope 2, escaper 3, home run 4. To start the multiplayer game, shuffle the pack, deal 5 cards to each player, face down. Place the remaining cards, face down, in a draw pile. All players must lay any one cards they possess in front of them immediately and must not hold on to any one in their hand between turns. Gameplay Players go by drawing a card. They decide whether to put a card on the discard pile, play an escape card or an action card against an opponent. You can lay up to three sequential cards in one chain on your go, except the home run card. That can only be played on its own turn. Players must not hold on to more than five cards after anyone's go. If so, discard any excess cards of your choice to the discard pile. Note that these excess cards have no effect on opponents when being discarded. If you have less than five cards on your go, you may pick up without playing a card. The escape cards, gold bordered. Escape card one, rope, tunnel or key escape method, plus disguise, manhole and hospital if you have the separately available expansion pack. Laying the card starts a new escape chain which is placed in front of you. You must lay these cards as soon as they come into your possession. You can also opt to play a two and three card on your go if you hold them. Escape card 2. With one of these cards you can complete a new escape chain method by the same name ready for your escaper to use. Escape card 3. Escapers are laid on any completed escape methods and are ready to accept the home run card on your next go. Home Run Card 4. Lay this card on your escaper to home run and win the game outright. You cannot lay this card on the same turn as you lay an escaper. You must wait your next turn. This gives opponents one last turn to stop you getting a home run and winning. Special Parcel marked with a question mark. Much prized, these cards can be used in place of any missing one and two escape cards. If one is used to start or complete a chain, it inherits the name of that escape type. If you use two special parcel cards in a row as a one and a two, it has no name, offering extra protection from all searchlight cards. The action cards black bordered. Appell. This is a roll call. Play this card to have all your chosen opponents, visible escapers, return back to their hands. Traitor card. 
one opponent of choice has to return all their played escape cards to the discard pile. Shoot Escaper. Shoot one of an opponent's played escaper cards by placing it on the discard pile. Take Cover card. The next opponent misses one go. Most frustrating for them, especially if they were close to a home run. Surprise Search card. Choose a random card from each opponent's concealed hand until you hold five cards in total. Best used when your hand is low. Confiscation order. Choose and keep a visible card, either any of an opponent's played escape cards or one from the top of the discard pile. If you confiscate an opponent's escape card, their chain collapses at that point. Any cards on the end return to the respective owner's hand. The remainder of their chain stays put. Major Search Card. Nominate one player to show everyone their entire hand. This is really useful if you want to play a Commandeer card on your next go. Searchlight Cards. Discard one opponent's end escape card of the type named. This may well be the one or two card depending how much of the escape chain already exists. Any escapers on the end return to the owner's hand. The remainder of their chain stays put. Commandeer card. Ask any one opponent for a particular card from their hand. For example, special parcel. If they hold that card, they must give it to you. If they don't, too bad. Diversion card. You can play this card quickly at any time, even if it's not your turn. It burns or stops the effect of any action card and their consequences. Another diversion card can be played on a diversion card to reverse it and so on. The next natural player then has their go. Random search card in the expansion pack only. Return one whole escape chain or column from an opponent of your choosing. When the draw pile is gone, shuffle the discard pack and reuse. Multiplayer rules if you're playing with five or six players or even more. You can decide beforehand a target total number of escapers to become the outright winner to prolong any game. So for five or more players you can opt to use your diversion card placed at the top of any escape chain to protect the cards underneath from any action card apart from the confiscation order. An opponent confiscating your diversion card will leave your chain unprotected once more unless of course you can divert it with another diversion card. Playing in teams. The Get Out of Colditz game is great played in teams too. You can decide how many home runs constitute an outright winner. With four or more players you can form national teams, for instance British, French, Polish, US, etc. Whereby you can also add to your partner's escape chain to help your team win and protect your team from other teams' action cards. The separately available expansion pack will also add more possibilities. I deal with more players. By using the 56 card expansion pack you can add all new escape attempt cards and more escape attempt opportunities to your single or multiplayer games.